Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except Yahweh be with him. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, stop right there. Read the second verse one more time. All right. The same came to Yahweh Shai Mashiach by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest. Right, he said, for, for we know, meaning the Pharisees knew he was from the Most High. Okay, so he came to, to Yahweh Shai by night. So he didn't want nobody to know. And he said, what? That no, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except Yahweh be with them. Except the Most High be with him. So they knew he was the anointed, pointed power of righteousness, right? He knew, they knew he was the Hamashiach. He knew he was the Savior. So let's, let's, read, let's read on to the third verse again. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see, see the kingdom of Yahweh. Right. Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Then let's read on. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the, the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, so here it is, the, 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 that Savior again coming again directly to us, to the nation of Israel. That's not the nations, okay? That's no other nation. There's no other nation. Let's get, hold what you got. Let's get Amos 3 and 1 for, for clarification. Amos 3 and 1 and 2. Hold what you got and let's get Amos 3, 1 and 2. Huh. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, so we're the ones who were punished. We're the ones that was punished. He's the only one that he knew. He identified Israel, no other nation. So how did the Christians, so-called Christians, uh, Gentiles and all these other nations get it twisted. How come our people got it confused? How come our people still walking around and don't understand that they're Hebrew Israelites? Okay? Let's read uh, the fifth verse one more time. Y'all shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, so it says, be born of water and of spirit. Read the sixth verse. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Right. Now, let's get uh, Ephesians 5 and 26. Let's get more clarity. Even though it's clear, we're going to be specifically clear because it's not talking about a uh, physical water baptism. That's not going to clean you up. That's going to clean up the physical. And uh, it's Ephesians 5, 26? Yes. Right. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. But with the washing of water by the word. And what's that word? The laws, statutes, and commandments. Let's get Psalms 119, verse 9. Psalms 
Psalms chapter 19, Psalms chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. All right, now that's it on that. Okay, now let's get, um, let's get, uh, let, let's hold, go back to uh, uh, John 3 and 5, and then I want you to get Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. Ecclesiastes is 3, verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Okay, uh, uh, read that one more time. Verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. Right, so it's clear. It's time to be born. Whose time to be born? The nation of Israel. Back into righteousness. The remnant of the nation of Israel. And I have to make that clear. The remnant. The one-third is the most highest who's the most high's calling. Not everybody is going on this trip. The scripture said one should be taken, one should be left. So a remnant is the, that's being born of the nation of Israel. Okay? This is the nation that's being born again in righteousness. And how do you do that? You have to come back to the law, statutes, commandments. But before you do that, Let's get Romans 10, 8, and 9. Uh, yeah, you have to accept your, uh, your, your identity, your, your nationality. And when, when you accept that, you also have to learn to uh, say a prayer of atonement. Because this is what the prophets and uh, the apostles also told the, uh, the, the, the Israelites back then. Because told us back then, back then, because we knew back then who we were, our identity. So that's why when you read Matthew, he said, repent. But our message changed a little while because we were lost to what? Who we are, our identity. Uh, what, what, what scripture did I have you call? Romans 10, 8, 9. Hold that and get uh, Matthew 15, verse 24. So the message changed only slightly when, you, when, when we, we um, when the, and when just words, because the only thing that was changed was the words. We, back then, our identity, so that's why when you hear Yahweh says, repent ye, for the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Because we knew our identity. But this is where the message changed. This is for the today's prophecy, the now. This is for the prophecy and the historic event that's taking place in the earth. Okay? And it's historic because the vibration of righteousness is being born right here in the earth through the Hebrew Israelites, the same nation, but through one third. Because the other two thirds is going to be going to have to die because they're not going to wake up. Those, those are the ones that were blinded when you read the book of Romans and the book of Psalms David was talking about. Okay, let's get uh, Matthew 15 and verse 24. All right, we're in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Please. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, who was that lost sheep? The nation of Israel. Who are we lost, what are we lost to? Oh, philosophies, churches. Sorry, don't comment. Okay. What are we lost to? Our identity. And what were they, we lost to back then? Righteousness. We wasn't keeping the laws. And that's the same predicament 
that's kind of being done here in America called Babylon the Great. We still lost to righteousness, and on top of it, we lost our identity. That was took away, that was stripped from us. What else we was lost to? Our language. Our culture, and the laws is our culture because it tells us the do's and don'ts. It tells us the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, our history, the prophecies, past and, uh, uh, past and present and future. All this was given to the nation of Israel. Okay, to prove that, you get Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. Okay, that was given to us. In ancient time and in this, pre in this present and future, it's still Yashar Allah, those of Negro and Indian descent. Those calling themselves African American, West Indian and Haitian, uh, Puerto Ricans and Haitians, those bywords, that was given to us. So we're the nation that's being born, being brought forth and born again. Only difference is a remnant is going to be delivered out of here. Okay? Now read what you got, uh, Poirot. Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not done so any nation. And as for his judgments, he hath not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. Now, I'm going to share you with something. Why did the Most High say Jacob and refer to Israel? Anybody can answer that? Why he didn't just say Israel? Why he said Jacob? And then he mentioned later Israel. Because it's the same same nation. Showing you he loves you in the condition when you was in your evil way, and he loved you in your he's gonna love you in your condition when he wakes you up into righteousness. That's what I see. Okay. Now, let's let's um let's go back to John 3 and 3. And we're gonna read that and then I'm gonna move on. No, not John 3 and 3. Uh, drop that. Let's get Amos. Amos, um, uh, we would uh, get Ecclesiastes, and let's read Ecclesiastes one more time. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. And then we're going to go from, to, from there to Amos. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. Right, a time to be born. That's, the, that's, that's, that's who's being born. And But who's going to die? Let's, let's get, hold what you got. Let's get Ma, uh, Matthew 13. Let's get Matthew 13. And start at the 39th verse and read to the 40, 41st verse. Matthew 13, chapter the 39th verse. Matthew chapter 13, verse 39. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. Matter of fact, start at the 37th verse and let's read down. All right. Matthew chapter 13, verse 37. Read. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. And the reapers are the angels. So that's who we're going to see appear out that sky, the angels. Read on. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom from all things that offend. Right, he shall gather out of this kingdom, the evil kingdom, America, that has the vibration of evil on it, on the earth, that put out the vibration of evil on the earth from this kingdom 
Read. And they shall gather out of this kingdom all things that offend. All, and then, read, read again. And they shall gather out of this his kingdom all things that offend. And them which do iniquity. And them which do iniquity. So all things, planes, trains, and automobiles are going to be destroyed. And all them people, all things that offend them that do iniquity, because that's who do iniquity, people. And, and them which do iniquity. Iniquity. So the kingdom is promised for the nation of Israel, as we read in the 38th verse. Okay? So let, just to make that clear. Now let's go back to, uh, let's go to uh, Amos 9 now. Let's move on. Amos 9. Amos 9, verse 10. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Right, he said, all sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Let's get my number count, because I said one third on women, just for edification. For those who never picked up the Bible, okay, let's get Zechariah 13, 8 and 9. Zechariah 13 chapter and uh, 8 and 9 verse. If you get it, just read. Hold We're in the book of Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land save your hour. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Right, two parts of, of, the, of, of read that again, 13, 8, 9. But the two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Right, but the third shall be left therein. Let's get Romans 11 and 5. We're going to find out who that third is. Romans 11, verse 5. Let's get more clarity. Romans 11, verse 5. Romans chapter 11, verse 5. Three. Even so, then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Right. There's a remnant according to the election of grace. So who's that remnant? The one-third of the nation of Israel, those of Negro and Indian descent. That's who's being born. That's who's being born back to righteousness. And let's get the prayer of atonement, because that's not what it is. Let's get Romans 10, 8 and 9. Or repentance, some call it. Let's get Romans 10, verse 8 and 9. Romans chapter 10, verse 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith. Right, stop right there. It said, but the word, but but what but what saith? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Now, why did it say that? We read it already in Psalms 119, uh, uh, Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20, because it's already in our spirit. The Most High bring everything start in the spirit world. So when you're born, he's putting that righteous spirit. Your spirit make up of righteousness. The righteousness is already in you. Those of, the, those of Negro and Indian descent. Not saying you're not going to make mistakes and sin, not you're not going to sin. But the righteous spirit is already in you. That's why he says, but uh, hold, hold, let's hold Romans 10 and 8. Let's get Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Let's get Deuteronomy 4th uh, chapter and the 5th verse. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. 